Hey everyone. Well, it's December 23rd. And I want to talk to you about the solstice that we just had on December 21st. December 21st is actually the darkest day of the year, but the good part of it is it's also beginning to be the lightest. As it moves into the summer months and as the hours begin to change, we were, we're getting more light now. So more light is coming into the planet right now, which we can certainly use, right? So actually, it's really interesting. From December 21st on, there is more light by two minutes and seven seconds every day. So every day, there's two minutes and seven seconds more light. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm all about, you know, light and bringing light onto the planet. So let's uh, give thanks for that happening. We moved through that getting darker, 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 and now we're moving into getting lighter, 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 which I think is awesome. <clears throat> the solstice is a real, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got incense going right now. By the way, those of you who got the incense are loving the incense. So once again, it's sandalwood by Primo Incense, the connoisseur label. It is extra special sandal, what it's called. It's vintage, it can't be gotten any longer. What we have now is all there's going to be. So <clears throat> if you want some, let me know. It's 825 including shipping, and that's about 25.6, something like that. It comes in a triangle package. I don't have it in front of me right now. It's, it's over there, I've got it burning. <clears throat> I don't like to have it too close to me because it, uh, the smoke affects my throat. But boy, does it smell good. It's really, really dense, and it's very um, permeating, so to speak, and it's just really transporting. It's just fabulous. This is an incense that I found again after coming across in one of my cabinets an old vintage package from the late 70s that had one stick in it that I was saving for something special, which I used for a meditation and candlelight yoga session one night a couple weeks ago. And then I did my research and I found out that there's more available, but it's not gonna be available for long because once the shipment that they have is out, that's it. There won't be any more. They're not gonna be getting any more. <clears throat> so it's, scent has a very powerful way of transporting you to a different time and place. And when you do scent on a regular basis, when you meditate or do this or do your yoga or whatever, your mind seems to connect that, oh, it's time now to decompress and relax. So it's a wonderful way to trigger your mind into, you know, calming down and moving into a different wavelength. <clears throat> I'm drinking coconut water today. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this time of year, get this, all right? Since the days were longer, and on the night of the solstice, it was the longest night of the year, okay? The 21st was the longest night of the year, and the shortest daylight. So think about this. When there's more night, there's more moon, right? So it's often been said that the 21st, the solstice, is a very powerful time. And by the way, it lasts for a couple of days. It's not like, bam, it's over. It lasts a couple days, so we're still kind of in it. And so when there's more night, there's more moon. And it's said that this is the time of year that the moon gives birth to the sun, that it moves from the moon being in the sky longer and visible to the sun being in the sky longer and visible. So the moon is feminine and the sun is masculine. So the moon is giving birth to the sun. And what holiday do we celebrate? Well, many of us celebrate this time of year. Many of us know that this time of year is the birth of Jesus, okay? So the sun is birthed by the moon on the solstice. Don't you think that's cool? I think that's very cool. Also, the solstice time is the time of darkness, which we're coming out of by two minutes and seven seconds every day. So it's the time of darkness. And we'll see what the cards say, since I never know what they're gonna say, but um, maybe that'll be part of, our, uh, part of our guided meditation tonight. We'll see, huh? 
Alrighty, so I am going to uh, wish you all a very happy holiday. And as we do the guided meditation this evening, I'm not gonna bring you out of it, I'm just gonna let you drift and you'll come out when you're ready. So my last time to talk to you in a conscious way, the way I am now in a wide awake state, is before we get into the guided meditation. So I wanna make sure to wish you all a happy holiday, whatever you celebrate. Happy holidays, and uh, I'll be back again, of course, on the 30th, next Wednesday. So let's get going, and we'll pull some tarot cards. For those of you who have been here before, I always pull a tarot card, and an angel card, or two, or maybe three, depending upon what it feels like I should be doing. And I never know what the cards are gonna be, and the cards actually guide me to what our guided meditation is gonna be, because I never know what that's gonna be either. Okay, so I'm going to show you the cards right here, and I'm going to shuffle them right here to make sure those naysayers who said that I chose the cards in advance so I knew what I was going to say. <laughs> That's not the case. Alrighty, and I just want to say that we are all divinely protected and surrounded by healing white light, very protective white light, positive white light. No negative energy can enter in to our time together this evening. Just positivity. All right, I'm gonna cut the cards. I'm gonna cut them one more time. Let's see what we get, okay? This is always exciting. You never know what's gonna happen. All right, here we go. This card is the one. Now we've had him before. Okay, he is the Knight of Pentacles. We've had him before, or maybe, maybe I'm remembering him from a, a private tarot reading I did for someone. But we're gonna talk about the Knight of Pentacles, and I'm gonna pull another card. I'm gonna, I just feel like I should pull another card, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna cut the cards one more time and pull what's on top, and let's see what we get. Wow, we're getting repeats here. This one is the King of Swords. Okay, well, I get the message. Masculine part of our energy. All right, let's talk about it. The first card. By the way, anytime you listen to this, anytime you watch this, the cards are gonna be relevant for you at that time. I just got a note yesterday from someone who listened to the meditation from last week. And she said the card was right on for what she has been dealing with in her life. And it was totally appropriate for yesterday. So there you go. You see, these are, these are energetic tools and they transmute and they are relevant to you whenever you watch or listen. And even if you've watched or listened tonight and then you listen again or watch tomorrow or the next day or the day after that or five days from now, you'll see it'll still be relevant. All right, the first card I chose, well, I didn't choose it. The first card that came up was this one, Knight of Pentacles, okay? Now, it's interesting because the pentacles are about money and earth, the earth trip, the earth, okay? And here we have a gentleman who is focused on finances and the earth trip. And you know what's coming up for me right now is this is Christmas and I had to run an errand yesterday. And I went up to the old road. I'm kind of trying to stay away and not go out much. But I went up to the old road and every place had these long lines. Everybody was like wanting to get into the stores to buy gifts and to spend money. So pentacles are earth and finances. A knight is a masculine energy even within ourselves, we can have a masculine energy in ourselves, whether we're male or female. And by the way, the king is a masculine energy also within ourselves. Could be a person, could be just your own masculine energy, regardless of your sex or gender. So the Knight of Pentacles is a, a kind of a younger, more vital energy than the king. The king is more sedate. The knight is more kind of energetic. Maybe this has something to do with all those people. Maybe even you rushing around, getting ready for the holidays, buying gifts, buying food, whatever you're doing. 
Spending money though, okay? It's about spending money is what this card is about. So this just shows us the energy. But there's something else that it shows us too. Because if you look at this, there's, it's like, even though you're focused on the money, this horse is like calm, centered, grounded. And the young man sitting on the horse is very calm and focused. He's holding the money, the coin, the pentacle in his hand, but he's not uptight. He doesn't have a weird expression. He's not, the horse isn't galloping anywhere. And if you notice, he's got a red harness and a red drape around him and the horse has a red collar and the reins of the horse are red. And red is the root chakra. Red is of the earth, grounded, centered, okay? And uh, he's also in a high place. You see how he's kind of on a little bit of a hill and you can see things in the distance? So this is, stay centered and grounded during this period of time, even though it's a lot of money energy. Just stay focused and centered and grounded, okay, in your root chakra. Maybe we'll incorporate some of that in our guided meditation tonight. Let's look at the king, the king of swords. We've had him before too. Swords cuts through the crap, okay? I think last week we had the queen of swords. It's ironic that the swords are coming up so much this time of year because there's a lot of crap to cut through, actually. And you see that he is sitting also from a higher place on a plateau, and he's wearing a blue gown with a purple robe. Now, he's got a red undergarment, so once again, or it's kind of orange. The red or orange undergarment is the root chakra and the um, navel chakra. <coughs> and the blue is the throat chakra, and the purple is the pineal, okay, third eye. So here you have this guy crowned in his glory, calmly sitting there, centered and grounded, cutting through the crap and staying calm, just staying calm and staying very calm in the words that he speaks. See the blue? He's wearing a lot of blue and there's a blue sky there. Staying calm in the words that are spoken. So watch your words, think before you speak and cut through the crap, cut through the illusion, okay? Now, this is a stronger masculine energy. So sometimes a stronger masculine energy is needed in our interactions. Stronger in that it's yang, but yang in that it's stronger in getting us to stay, set, to stay centered, okay? A stronger impetus to stay centered and watch the words that come out of the blue throat chakra. I want to pull one more tarot card and just one angel card being that this is we're still coming out of this uh this intense uh solstice time all right cut the cards one more time and pulling the card on top another major arcana card okay this is a major arcana card and once again, we have a guy here. This is male energy here, a lot of male energy. This is a seven, and this is the chariot. This is a major arcana card. Major arcana cards hold a lot of energy. <coughs> They're very powerful. So maybe we needed to have one more card here. I'll tell you about this one. This guy is in a chariot, but once again, it's not going anywhere. He's centered and calm. He can go, he can move quickly, chariots move fast, but he's staying grounded and centered between the light and the dark. See those characters in the front? The light and the dark, staying centered and watching his words. See the wings, that's a symbol of Mercury, which is communication. And look above him, he's got his head kind of up in the stars, so he's coming from a higher place and look what's on his shoulder. Moons, see those moons, those crescent moons? They're curved upwards. So here we are. We talked about the moon a little while ago. And when the night is darkest and longest, you see the moon more often and the moon is more present more often. So here he is and he is on the edge of town. See the town behind him? He's on the edge of town. And he's sitting, the chariot is on grass. It's not going anywhere. It's got water behind it. 
So he is, I would say, on the edge of town. You remember to not get caught in the illusion? Cut through the illusion. Get out on the edge of town a little bit. In other words, get into nature for a little bit and uh, be balanced between the light and the dark and don't be afraid of your shadow. Your shadow can lead you. Your shadow can carry you just as the light can. See those two characters, the light and the dark on the front? Okay, well, we're just gonna pull one angel card because we did a lot of these. So we're gonna choose from the daily guidance right here from your angels oracle deck. This is the deck I just picked up. So this is the deck we'll use. Always coming from light and love. See my selenite heart right here, isn't that pretty? Let's see what we have here. All right, I'm gonna shuffle these cards again. Here, see, they've got the gold around them. It's so pretty, see how that reflects. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, angels, give us guidance for our guided meditation. Once again, we are surrounded by light and divinely protected and able to cut through the crap and see what's real, get to the heart of the matter, by the way. Yeah, we get some good cards here today. All right, and here we go. One more shuffle, I'm gonna cut now. Cut one, and cut two. All right, let's see what this is. You see it before I do. Play, okay. Here we have a little character, a little beautiful little angel jumping on some lily pads and the card says play. So I'm gonna read you about this card. Let's see what it says. Although you're cutting through the crap, as we all are, it's important to cut through the crap so you can see what's real and stay grounded and stay centered while you're focusing on all this money thing. You know, whether it's the stimulus or whether it's spending money for the holidays, it's important to have the playful sense, the childlike sense of playfulness. It says, Beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry, we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness, gaiety, and laughter will lift your energy so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. That's interesting because we're not gonna be working, a lot of us, on this long weekend, and some of us are actually out of jobs. So when we return to work, whenever that is, it'll be with a renewed sense of enthusiasm, joyfulness, and a childlike sense of wonder and innocence. In other words, we'll be going back, not with a uh, hardened sense or We'll be going back with a lighter sense, lighter energy. I'm going to read the rest of it. The angels see that you need to play, so they sent you this card. I think I kind of need to play, too. I've been in the house a lot lately, just taking care of business. You've been working and worrying a lot lately. Wow. I know some of you have talked about how you're working and worrying especially a lot in my private sessions with you and your soul cries out for fun. Feelings of fatigue, irritability, or depression are additional signs that you're overdue for some playtime. Excuse me. You don't need to wait until you have a free moment because you can inject fun into your day today. Simple pleasures, moments of silliness, laughing with a friend, or watching a funny movie are examples of ways to have fun that don't require a lot of time or money. Fun and play are necessary parts of life for children and adults. These types of activities help us live healthier lives and allow us to attain our desires more quickly. Fun is part of living a balanced life. You know, I wanna say something here. You know when you really want something bad and you just want it so bad, and it seems like you just can't get it because you just want it so bad? Lighten up. You're not gonna get it if you want it that bad. Lighten up and let the energies and the universe and the helpers from the other realms and the invisible helpers bring it to you. Just let it occur. 
Just trust that it's gonna occur. Just ask and trust that it's gonna occur. And stop forcing. Forcing doesn't get you what you want. It just doesn't. Stop what you're doing and go have fun right now. So we're gonna actually have fun in our meditation. Release any guilt about having fun to the angels. We're gonna do some releasing. You deserve happiness, pleasure, and enjoyment. Make sure your recreational activities are purely fun and non-competitive. Okay, so I guess fighting and arguing in games of trivia pursuit over the holidays isn't really what it's talking about. <laughs> I kind of like trivial pursuit myself. Um, it's a great game to play with people. But it's not about competitiveness. It's not about any of that. It's just about being light and having fun. Maybe just stay in place. Don't go anywhere. This is kind of what we're doing right now. We're not supposed to be going anywhere. We're supposed to be staying in place. See how that chariot is not going anywhere? That moon energy on his lapels, on his epaulets there. Cut through the crap. Watch what you say. Be centered on your throne. Get to the heart of the matter. It's fine to focus on your earth trip, but stay calm and grounded in it. Okay, there we go. Alrighty now, it's that time. Time for takeoff. So make yourselves comfortable and we will begin. You can, if you haven't been here before, feel free to change your position. You don't have to stay still. I'm yawning so much. I'm releasing energy. That's what that is. So stay relaxed. That's the most important thing. Be relaxed. So if you need to move, move around. If you need to adjust your po position or your posture, go ahead and do that. Most people when we, when we did this, well, almost everybody when we did this in person was laying down. So I encourage you to lay down also, okay? Know that if there's an emergency, God forbid, you will be able to Open your eyes and function. And know that any normal everyday sounds that you hear are everyday normal sounds and they're not gonna interrupt or disturb you in any way. They'll allow you to go even deeper. Okay. Allowing your eyes to close now. And becoming aware of your breathing. Noticing your breathing. And notice how it's becoming in its own natural way and in its own natural rhythm more relaxed, easier, more gentle. Let's breathe in through our nose and out through our mouths now, like we're blowing out candles. This is a very special time of year and it's wonderful as we continue to move through this solstice energy to light candles, candles and incense. Blowing out through the mouth now and in through the nose. Feeling 
feeling your body letting go more and more with each exhalation. That's it. The body relaxing more and more with each breath that you take and each sound of my voice. Any outside sounds that you become aware of that are everyday normal sounds do not disturb you in any way. They allow you to relax and let go even more. I'm going to count from five down to zero and each count will allow you to relax even more. Starting on five, feeling a relaxing sensation moving down through your body from the top of your head down to the tips of your toes. Notice your body. Notice your body. Become a witness as you notice your body relaxing more and more. With each count, you also go deeper and deeper into a very deep space within that is a very powerful space within. On the count of four, feeling yourself relaxing even more as your body lets go even more. Releasing. At the same time, regenerating. As we move closer and closer to that deep space within. That space of unlimited creativity unlimited manifestation, unlimited love, that unnameable force, that unlimited force that is deep within you and me and everyone. And going even deeper down to three, the body relaxing even more. Feeling centered and grounded as you relax and let go and go deeper and deeper. Drifting down to two. Deeper and deeper. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Continuing down, drifting deeper down to two. Your body has been craving this. 
Your mind has been craving this. This ability and this opportunity that you are giving yourself to release, let go, and recharge. To reboot your system. To reboot your neurological system. And going down to one. Easily and gently. Very naturally and comfortably. From one. In a moment, I will count down to zero. And when I do, you will hear tones. Allow those tones to carry you even deeper within. Drifting now from one down to zero. Letting yourself go even deeper, relaxing even more. That's it. It feels very good to be doing this and going even deeper. Letting go even more. And you find yourself now on the edge of a forest and the moon is shining above. You can see the moonlight coming through the trees, lighting a path. It's as if the moon is lighting the path, letting you know where to go. You walk along the path, enjoying the air, the crisp air, the calmness of the night. You feel safe. You feel protected. You feel comfortable. You walk along the path and you see that the path opens up into a clearing. In the clearing, in the center of the clearing, is a campfire. It's surrounded by stones and then surrounded by larger stones. And you know intuitively that you are to walk over <clears throat> and sit on one of the larger stones. And you do that. As you sit down on the stone, <clears throat> You look into the fire. It's very hypnotic. It's very beautiful. The flames are blue and yellow, orange, red. You hear the crackling of the burning logs. 
You smell the comforting smell of burning wood. You look up to the sky and see the moonlight and notice the moonlight lighting up the entire area in this opening surrounded by beautiful tall trees that feel like guardians, guardians of the space. You sit and enjoy this scene. The air is cool yet comfortable. You begin to go deeper and deeper, watching the flames going even deeper. You hear the sound of some crickets. Nighttime sounds of the forest. Very comfortable, very relaxed. You start to drift, your eyes closing, then opening, looking at the fire again and then closing. You know and feel that you are moving into an altered state. Deep into that state, that place of being that is larger than the personality of who you think you are. You notice next to you something you hadn't noticed before. There's a writing instrument there. Maybe it's an old fashioned pen with a quill. Maybe it's a pencil. Maybe it's a marker, a crayon, a pen. You pick up the writing instrument and you notice that there is a notepad there as well big enough for you to write on. And you know you're supposed to write something, but you're not sure what. You pick up the pad and the writing instrument. And though your eyelids are heavy, you know you need to keep them open to write. And so you begin to write, and now you know what it is you're supposed to write. You are writing the things you want to release and let go of. Number one, a situation, a person, an emotion a perception, a belief, a habit, a behavior. You decide. Write as many as you can. If you can write 10, you'll feel that much better afterwards. If you can write one, you'll feel wonderful afterwards. Maybe you have several things that you want to release and let go of that no longer serve you. People, patterns, perceptions, behaviors, relationships, situations, environments, 
activities, occupations, habits. Keep going. You think of another one now. I'm going to give you a few minutes to write more. To write more of the things that no longer serve you. To write more of the things that hold you back. Take your time. Have you been holding on to expectations of how you think things should be, especially this time of year? Right expectations. How about judgments? Have you had judgments or critical perceptions of others or situations? Have you been irritable? Your list is done for now. Put your writing instrument down and you know exactly what you're supposed to do with this list, don't you? You pick it up and you walk over to the fire and you burn the list. Letting the list go. Watching it as the papers curl up and turn into ash and seem to disappear. Watching as the smoke from your burning list wafts up to the sky, up toward the moon. You are free, free from these things that no longer serve you. The fire burns brightly, seeming to smile as it burns the list of that which you are eliminating, releasing, and letting go of during this powerful time where there has been more darkness, but there is now more light each and every day. burning of the list is now over. The fire is still burning brightly. It feels warm. It's comforting to you. You go back over to the rock. It's a big, smooth rock. And you lie down on the rock, looking up at the sky as all the trees come together, the tops of the trees against the sky, and in the center of the sky, you see what seems to be a brilliant flickering star. You look at the star as your eyelids feel heavier and heavier, and you drift deeper and deeper.
allowing yourself to take this time to have your mind and your nervous system realign itself, rebalance itself. And this happens on its own without you doing anything consciously. It's a subconscious and unconscious realignment. Just allowing it to happen. For in the space where all of these things were that were holding you back, that needed to be released, that space is now freed up for more light to enter in to your being, to your behaviors, to your awareness, to your consciousness. and drifting deeper and deeper.
If you are listening to this before bed, you'll sleep beautifully, deeply, and wake up refreshed. If you are listening to this in the morning, you'll be centered and grounded, clear and focused, happy for the day. If you listen to this after work or in the later afternoon, early evening, you'll feel cleansed, cleared, relaxed, calm, having released anything interfering with your health and well being. Each time you listen to this, you'll go deeper than the time before, and each time enjoy it more and reap more benefit. May you be surrounded by protective white light in all of your journeys. May you be surrounded by protective white light to heal all parts of your being. And so it is until we meet again. Namaste. And many blessings to you. Many blessings to you.